In the previous video, I made a tutorial about Bluestacks and how to install it on a PC or laptop. In this video, I make a tutorial on how to install Bluestacks on a VPS or RDP. To install Bluestacks on RDP, I usually use the Windows 10 operational system, not from Windows Server. There are additional settings so that Bluestacks can be installed properly. After successfully downloading the Bluestacks installer, we need the VC runtime to run it. To download the latest version of Visual C++, just visit the official website from Microsoft. If it has been successfully downloaded, immediately install the software. If you immediately install Bluestacks without making additional settings on RDP, of course an error like that will occur. To see what settings to do, just click review the FAQ for instructions. If you have already installed Bluestacks before making the settings, then uninstall it first, and clean all the files up to the root access section. If you want it to be simpler, just use Revo Uninstaller to remove all access. To make additional settings, just type Turn Windows Features on or off. Or you can search for it through the control panel. Once the feature is open, enable the Hyper-V, Visual Machine Platform, Windows Hypervisor Platform, Windows Sandbox, Windows Subsystem for Linux features. And if needed, also activate Net Framework. If some of the features are checked, just select OK. So that all features can be activated, make sure Windows Update is active. Because this process requires access from Windows Update. If successful, then Windows will ask to restart the system. Then just select Restart Now to restart Windows System. After the RDP connection is lost, we can access it again if the system restart process has been successful. And now, I will try to reinstall the Bluestacks software. The method is the same as when you first installed Bluestacks. The process is a bit long, because there are still files that must be downloaded. So just wait until all successful 100%.
Now the BlueStacks instance profile can be run via RDP. That's all for the tutorial, and as usual, thank you.